Hi, it's Megan. So I have a vow for 2015 that I'm going to be more selective about the beauty products and brands that I buy. Um, and so I, of course, fell hard and heavy into the Guerlain, is it spring? I think it's spring 2014 collection, which has this adorable pink packaging. And so I've already done uh, a video for the press powder and also for the blush and now I have the Guerlain Meteorites Baby Glow which is a light revealing sheer makeup with sunscreen and so I actually have it on and I don't have any foundation or anything else really I have a little tiny bit of concealer right where my eyes get the darkest like right in here and then I have a little tiny bit of finishing powder on but I figured for this video and actually I'm shooting three videos at the same time I was going to brave it and just wear this one product and a lot of times with camera stuff when you're on camera what I found is every little like flaw you don't even see in the real life the real world just shows up on camera so I don't wear foundation a lot every day but every time I do a video I always wear foundation because it makes a huge difference but a few times I have done CC creams or BB creams because I'm usually reviewing that product and they've looked amazing on camera so it'll be interesting to see how this one shows up on camera um, because in real life it looks really flawless in fact I was wearing it yesterday someone was staring at me and saying wow your skin is so amazing and honestly I haven't heard that since I was in my 20s um, I do have good skin but I'm not in my 20s so it's not that good anymore but this is one of those types of products that is meant to supplement. So I'll get to different ways of using it because you don't have to wear it just alone. It's just the way that I'm doing it for the video so you can really see it. Um, this is $54 for point, no, for one ounce exactly. So according to Guerlain, they say for the first time ever, Guerlain melts the magic of meteorites into a liquid creating baby glow. A light revealing sheer makeup with a sunscreen anti-fatigue effect and broad spectrum SPF 25. Its unique alchemy combines technology with a touch of magic, enabling the liquid light formula to glide onto your skin as a luminous, perfecting veil that reveals the youth and natural glow of your complexion. Your skin will look refreshed, smooth, and replenished, as beautiful and fresh as a baby's skin. Meteorite's Baby Glow is lightly fragranced with delicate violet. So yes, if you don't like the Meteorite's violet smell, the Guerlain violet smell, this product is not for you. What it really reminds me of in the real world, not on camera, is two products. It reminds me of the Armani Luminescence CC Cream, and it also reminds me of the Tony Moly Aura CC Cream, Luminous Aura CC Cream. And what all Tony Moly has the most, these two have more color. Tony Moly probably has the most color of the three, um, but they're all very subtle barely there kind of things that you put on your skin. When I did the Armani, they recommended actually that you put it on first and then you put your foundation on top. With the Guerlain, they actually say that you can put this on top of whatever foundation you use. So this comes like a tube like this. And like I said, I've just been wearing it by itself because I'm trying to test it out for the video. You can see it's got a, they say it's sheer, but it's got a slight little bit of color. Not a lot, and I really, I can't tell on my skin how much color it really adds, but it does, I think, I don't want to say even out the skin tone, but it does add kind of this luminosity to my skin, uh, which I really like. And um, would I wear it on camera all the time? No, it's really not that. Would I wear it under foundation? Yes. Would I wear it on top of foundation? So they say that you can either wear it alone or you can also like dot it on the areas where you want luminescence, which would be like right in here, right in there. I actually do a lot of luminescence on my eyes when I have time to put eyeshadow on. The violet smell is pretty strong. I get great wear with this. Um, I actually put it on with my fingers. I don't use a brush. I use a brush for all foundations and even sometimes for BB creams. I just put it on lightly right when I put my um, moisturizer on because like a lot of the other Guerlain face products, I find that my skin could just suck up basically half the two. And it's not that it's drying. Some of the other face Guerlain powder or foundation things have looked a little bit dry on me unless I do like moisturizer first. This one isn't drying. Again, it's just one of those that my skin can just suck up. But I think it just adds an amazing luminescence and evenness to my skin tones. So I think it's really, really a great product. But there will be some people who will think like a lot of the other meteorites that A, it smells too much like violets. 
B, you can't really see it, which it's a luminosity thing. You really can't actually see the product. That's, I think, part of the point. But that's not what some people want. And uh, C, it doesn't give enough coverage. So I really like it. I recommend it. I have Claire Light. And uh, you can see just a tiny bit of color. I'll repeat that one more time, but really not a lot. Um, but I would do what a lot of people at Armani when I was at the counter one time recommended which is using it as a base and then just kind of brushing your foundation on top lightly with a brush over it and then that gives just the most amazing glow. So anyway, I like the product. That's what I have to say about it. If you have thoughts, suggestions, if you have the other colors, I would love to hear because I got the lighter one, which I found with the powder. That was really more a translucent sheer powder and I kind of feel like this one isn't exactly the same, but it's awfully close. And uh, I'd like to hear if people had the same experience with the darker shades. And please subscribe on YouTube. That really helps me a lot.